this tutorial on how to play Bonnie and Clyde by Vance Joy. We're in standard tuning, there's no capo. We have an A minor chord, a C chord, an F open chord, and a G chord. If you know how to play those chords, feel free to skip ahead. For now, I'll be showing you how to play them. Let's start out here with our G chord. So for our G chord, your ring finger gets put on the third fret of the high E string. That's your bottom most string here. Third fret, one, two, three frets over. Your middle finger is going to be on the third fret of the low E string, and your index will be on the second fret of the A string. Play all six strings for that chord. Okay, let's go to our A minor chord next. So for your A minor, your index finger will be on the first fret of the B string. That's your second string up, one, two strings up. Middle finger is going to be on the second fret of the D string. That's your third string down, one, two, three strings down. And your ring finger will be on the second fret of the G, tucked right under your middle finger here. And with this chord, we're gonna play all our strings except for our low E string. To get to your C chord from this chord, all we're gonna do is we're gonna take our ring finger off and put him on the third fret of the A string. That is your second string down. And again, with this chord, we are not playing this low E, just these five strings. And finally, for our F open chord, you can leave your index finger on the first fret of the B, just like it was for the C and the A minor. Now your middle finger is going to slide down to the second fret of the G, so just one string up from this index finger. Your ring finger is going to go to the third fret of the A string, and your pinky will be tucked under on the third fret of the D string. don't want to play this high E and you don't want to play this low E, so just these strings in the middle that are sandwiched in between the high E and the low E. Okay, so those are the chords. Now let's talk about the progression. So the first progression we're going to learn is this one. Okay, so we're going to start on our F open chord. We're going to leave our middle finger off and we're going to hammer on to that second fret of the G. So you're going to do your hammer on, strum again, go to your C chord, strum once, now go to your G chord, strum twice, back to your C chord, F chord, C, G, G, C. spice it up you can do that you can add some upstrokes and downstrokes here and there whoops sorry but if you're not advanced enough to do that that's okay just um, go ahead and do your F chord to your C G C basic downstrokes for the strumming. So that's the first progression. The next progression, we start on our F chord here. We're going to go one, two, three, four for your downstrokes. Go to your C chord, two, three, four. Now we're going to go to our A minor, two, three, four, to your G chord for four. So F, C, two, three, four, A minor, two, three, four, and G. And you can also spice this one up as well, so you could go. So I'm just going down, down, up, down, up, down, down, down. minor down down up, down up, down 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 G and then it jumps right back into the verse progression here which is this you go 
guys already know how to play that. So that is going to be it for this tutorial. If you have questions, please feel free to comment below. If you enjoy this content, I'd really appreciate if you'd subscribe to my channel and also check out my songwriting playlist. I would really appreciate some feedback. Thank you for watching.